Clotilde Delbos, hello. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. You are um, head of Renault's new Mobilize brand, um, which promotes uh, sustainable mobility solutions. So, of course, um, batteries and the issue of battery recycling are very important to you. Can you tell us about that? Yes, OEMs are responsible for the recycling of the batteries they put on the market. What has to be underlined is that Renault Group goes far beyond regulation. The group has been working on this issue for 10 years in order to limit the environmental impact of its EVs, preserve natural resources, and contribute to the energy transition. We have a fleet of 400,000 electric vehicles, and we are starting to get the first batteries back for recycling. The lifetime of our batteries is higher than previously anticipated. And once they are no longer good enough for the vehicles, they can be reused as a second time and can also extract value at the end of life. Thanks to our very good knowledge of batteries, we found out that we could create value throughout its whole life cycle. So, so in concrete terms, how can this EV battery life cycle management actually bring down costs and create a viable business today? Well, to capture this value and offset part of the recycling cost, we have organized ourselves. The group deploys a full range of solution along the battery life cycle and is going further on recycling. OK, if you will, let's have a look at the solutions, starting with um, a battery's first life. Through Mobilize, Renault Group's solution for vehicle to grid, also called V2G, will allow EV drivers to offset part of their annual leasing cost and Renault to capture recurrent profits related to car fleets. Grid operators have a growing need for power storage solution to balance load at all times. Vehicle to grid solutions are one of the most adequate solutions to meet this need. Could you just remind me and the viewers what V2G means? Well, this technology enables energy to be pushed back to the power grid from the battery of an electric car. With vehicle to grid technology, a car battery can be charged and discharged based on different signals, such as the amount of energy production or consumption nearby. The car becomes a power generator. And what do the energy companies think about this, and what's their role there? Energy companies are therefore very interested in these services brought by car batteries, which are able to inject electricity to help stabilize the grid. Okay. Can you imagine, for example, a car connected eight hours per day could generate a value potentially up to 400 euros per year through vehicle to grid? That's a lot. Today, where are we? What have we actually achieved so far on V2G? Renault has already assembled all required skills to offer V2G services. In Europe, Renault has developed and promotes a solution for bidirectional AC charging that is less costly than a DC solution. Renault has already deployed all bricks required to operate an integrated V2G service in Europe, grid connection abilities with demonstrators in the Netherlands, Portugal, and France, aggregation and monetization know-how with contracts with energy traders. Renault has also offers an app for smart charging and peak shaving to be extended with further application for V2G. We will reach large scale from 2024 when we will launch new Renault 5. Now, you've met that's the battery's first life, but actually batteries also have a second life, so tell us about that. After their first life, batteries may still contain more or less two-thirds of their capacity. Renault, through Mobilize, is finding them new application around stationary storage to manage punctual power need, mobile electricity storage, or generators for use in other industries. And so how is Renault shaping this uh, second life market today? Renault is pioneering this market and has defined a unique industrial setup to lead this market in Europe. First, the group relies on its dealer network for collecting used batteries. Second, as Renault is an expert with 10 years of EV experience, we appraise their fair value of batteries and optimize second life usage thanks to real-time technical monitoring and knowledge of second life application. As a matter of fact, 
Thanks to an industrial tool with maturity well above others, the group has the ability to refurbish batteries at competitive prices and will, and will repackage the upcoming 250,000 units of Zoe batteries leased by Renault so far. And how are you going to promote all of this to the market? Renault, again through Mobilize, will collaborate with car rating agencies, for example, Largus, to broadly communicate the residual value of batteries so that it can be taken into account in the used car market transaction for a value up to 500 euros per car. This will contribute to lowering yearly leasing costs for new cars by up to 1%. As we have strong relationship with owners of vehicles, we will be able to offer health certificate for a state of health monitoring, battery warranty expansion contracts, and trading offers made possible by the connected vehicles to reassure owners of second-hand electric vehicles. So we've mentioned first life and battery second life. Um, obviously, it eventually it comes to the end of its life and needs to be recycled. So what are you planning there? Renault Group already benefits from a robust know-how in EV battery collection and recycling. We capitalize on our subsidiary Indra and our partnership with Veolia on lithium-ion battery recycling. We have already recycled 75 megawatt hour accumulated of batteries, half of which in 2020 only. Going even further, the group is deploying a new dismantling facility through its refactory project in Flin. The highly complementary partnership recently announced with Solve and Veolia will allow the recovering of strategic battery materials such as cobalt, nickel, and lithium with a very high efficiency and battery grade quality so they can be reused in the production of new car batteries. So from first life to recycling, we've gone full circle. So if we put all of that together, um, what are the expected savings? Today, the collection of re and recycling of EV batteries represent a net cost of around 1,000 euro per battery. Evolution in our overall battery collection and recycling process will allow Renault Group to divide the net cost of recycling by three by 2030, while securing for part of our needs an alternative and sustainable sourcing of battery materials at a competitive cost and preserving these natural resources. Clotilde, just in a nutshell, in a few words uh, to conclude, what today are the stakes for batteries? By viewing batteries through a circular economy lens, with the right tools and ecosystems in place at each step of the battery life cycle, the Renault Group is taking a clear competitive advantage and paving the way towards new sustainable business models and industry efficiency in line with its CSR policy. Clotilde, thank you very much indeed for this look at the future of the battery life cycle.